In this video, we're going to take a look at how to configure an FTD appliance to run a DHCP server. So for this demonstration, I'm using Firepower 6.6.1. And what we need to do is we need to go to Devices, Device Management. And for those running earlier versions, the only difference is the UI. Um, everything else uh, should be the same. Now once you're on device management, what we need to do is we select the device where we want to configure the DSCP server. So this is the FTD device. So I'm going to select this is demo device down here. And once that's loaded, what we need to do is we go across to DSCP. And then we should see some options. So we got the option to configure a DHCP server, DHCP relay, or DDNS. So in this case, we're going to use DHCP server. Now, there's a couple of things to point out before we configure the DHCP server. Although we can configure a DHCP server on an FTD device, it's important to note that we cannot. Uh, do things such as uh, res reserve addresses so we can't reserve IP addresses we do have the option to specify different options uh, DSCP options if, if that's required but the, the functionality here is just basically uh, the, the ability to uh, give a domain name primary and secondary DNS servers and win servers um, and then specify the DSCP pool that should be used and then as I say we've got the the option to use DHCP options as well so if you are looking for something that is um, can cater to your DHCP needs more so such as uh, adding or reserving IP addresses uh, based on MAC addresses um, or anything similar then uh, this FTD uh, solution uh, will not work so what we're going to do is we specify a primary DNS server. So I already have some specified. So I'm going to specify my umbrella VAs as the DNS servers. The main name we can specify if we wanted to. So for instance, I'll just type in whatwiskid.com. And now we need to click add to add a DHC people and also specify the interface that should serve uh, the DHCP client. So in this demonstration we'll use Wi-Fi and we'll give it a range of let's say 250 to 254. And then once you've specified your address pool and your address pool does need to be the same as the interface uh, subnet. We then enable the DHCP server, press OK, and you can see there that it's all configured now. So we'll just go ahead now and save that. And now that that's saved, we now need to go ahead and deploy the policy. So we'll just click Deploy and Deployment. And then what we'll do is we'll specify the device where we've just configured the DHCP server and then we'll just go ahead and deploy the changes to that. Once the deployment is completed, we should now be able to connect a device and get a DHCP uh, address from the DHCP server of the FTD. So to view any assignment, um, we can do that by uh, logging into the CLI of the FTD and we'll just do a show DHCPD uh, we'll do statistics first Oops. and we can see that we've got one address pool uh, configured at the moment um, let's just do a DHCPD uh, bindings. Let's just do it all. So we have no bindings at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly 
connect a device and we should be able to see a binding so I've just connected a device now so if I just up arrow there and there we go so we can see now that I've got a uh, device that's connected um, using a DHCP address from the DHCP server that we've just configured on the um, on the server so if we just do that clear the bindings we can see now that it's gone and that's simply how you configure a DHCP server on a Cisco Firepower FTD device.